A lot of people think that all I do is sit at home and pound cast. Later, I would think that, that everybody said, wow, I had no idea. Because, unfortunately, people always judge the book by its cover. I don't know how that name like really came came, came about. It's been so 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 long, you know. And I don't know how it came about. I don't know if somebody called me Mister Imagination or something, but it's something that stuck. So that's what I'm known as now. Well, it's, uh, it's a mem 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 memory wall, you know. It's uh, where, like everybody in the like area, they can bring things. They could, like if the concrete is wet at the time, I would let them mount things in. And it's something that can pull the community uh, to get together. I, I would say it's a, uh, it's a time cap cap capsule. You know, he is preserving memories and items and people. And I just think that's powerful. It's of the people. You know, it's not something that's made by someone highly, highly, highly skilled and, and it's difficult to understand and it's meant to be difficult to understand and um, have a, uh, an aloofness about it. You know, it, this, this is not that and I don't think that the community has ever experienced anything like this. We set about for a genuine look-see of this picture postcard area of North Central Florida. We liked what we saw, the beautiful sight of ripening oranges. The impressive farms near about gave one the feel of growing, of advancing, of planting roots in the ground for a better tomorrow. With an adequate supply of skilled and unskilled labor available, Sanford looks to a rewarding future. The Chamber of Commerce is glad to assist in any way they can be of service. are here in, in Sanford, the historic district of Sanford, and our, our building is the, um, the Hotchkiss building. It's over a hundred years old, and it was one of the first buildings that was built after a fire burned everything on First Street, so it was the first brick building. And um, we've uncovered original brick walls on the interior of our gallery. But the outside, um, we just hadn't done anything to. It needed refurbishing. And so um, the owners of the building, who are um, incredible folk art collectors, um, came up with the idea of having Mr. Imagination build one of his sculptures on the outside facade of the building. And then as the idea grew, we decided to um, bring the community in. And we thought that it would be fantastic to have Mr. Imagination come down here and put historic mementos in the city of Sanford, uh, things that uh, really had meaning to individuals, and put on the facade of the building. And uh, we've always admired Mr. Imagination. He's very really inspirational, and uh, we are just very excited to have him down here to work on this community project. Merging the two, art with something that is so alive with art in it, and just having Mr. Imagination be the one to do it. It's just special. That have been a huge, incredible piece of art on the whole front. And with Sanford history in it, it's just, I think, very cool. I feel that every city should have something like that. 
not just Sanford. I think it should be very important to preserve like history is anywhere. I would say that this wall is going to become a very historical site. I mean, like, just think like 50, 75 years from now, I might not be here, but my spirit will always be here. What I love about Sanford is that um, the city and the community are very, very, very interested in turning this into an arts district. And so we thought this would be something that would um, involve the whole community, send out a message visually and otherwise that um, Sanford is going to be an arts community. And I realize that they're like slowly trying to rebuild here in Sanford. But lots of history is here, so it's good. So it's going to be good for Sanford. It's going to be good for the world. I mean, just working with, with concrete and you're able to embed things. I kind of really like, felt, 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 felt in love with the style. So I just got, I just got hooked, you know, and so now I'm like do, doing them all over the world. This is for the court system, both local, state, and federal. It's fairness for the person and people and the state and federal government. I have a golf ball and a tee. I have uh, my brother who's uh, deceased, retired U.S. Air Force um, serviceman, and I have his name and his, some of his medals. I have a rock stop for a cello and a rock and container. I just, I like to play golf, so I just want to put it up here. Well, I play the cello, so I'm pretty sure. It's kind of like... Kind of like my sort of art putting up there. The iced teaspoon is for Southern hospitality of the many people that have been entertained both in our home and elsewhere. These are two of our pets uh, who are no longer with us. This is Bolo. This is a little dachshund. Um, that Bolo stands for better off left outside, but not really. And this is our cat pumpkin. So these are pins that one our neighbor gave us and my sister gave me. So well, what he's doing is he's not only taking the memorabilia that people are bringing up from their homes, from their families, and they're talking. This is probably the most powerful thing, is they're going home and they're talking to their relatives. I've heard a couple of them say that they went over to their grandmother's house or they went over to their parents' house and told them about what was going on and did they have anything that they wanted to contribute or what did you do with that particular piece that they have a memory of? What people don't realize is that during the Vietnam War, Sanford was home to nine POWs. Many people in Sanford wore these bracelets for these men. This is just one that we have, and we think it, it's a significant, uh, significant thing for, for this lovely piece of art. Captain Hutton spent over seven years in the Hanoi Hilton. I grew up in Sanford, Florida, and my father had the Ford Company right across the street that burned down. But I used to run down to Ivy's Shoe Store and get my shoes, which is now Knight Shoe Store. And it's been a shoe store for 50 years. So this is to be put on the wall to remind everybody we have a little shoe store that's 50 years old, and it was my favorite shoe store, and now I love shoes. We really didn't know for sure, but 
I felt pretty confident in Mr. Imagination's um, Pied Piper um, characteristics, and um, he's, um, he's just such a warm and genuine caring person that I knew that he could engage the community, and he um, just reaches across you know, racial, um, economic, um, all kinds of differences. He's a character, man, Mr. Imagination. He's kind of, kind of grows on you, you know, you just kind of gravitate back to see what he's doing next. But the visitors who've come up for this project really seem to like the atmosphere and enjoy looking at the art. And I think they understand, after they've met Mr. Imagination, what the self-taught, the outsider art is all about. So I think they're relating to this art because of Mr. Imagination. And it's a wonderful thing. <laughs> and, and it's funny, it's the people that, that you least expected that I delight in the most. You know, we've had a couple of old time Sanford families come down and, and you know, I, I sort of laid in the background a little bit, but um, they reached into their pockets and they had brought things up. And, and so just, you know, the most conservative people um, seem to embrace it as well as um, the homeless man that, that said he had nothing and Mr. Imagination found him something. Had it in my desk at work for, for several years since since I found it at the at the gravesite. You know, I hated to throw it away. This is just a way to, to put it up and put it to good use, and people can see it and make them wonder where did that come from. People are going to spend a lot of time looking at this, and I think that everything people brought is significant to them in some way. I don't think people just randomly wanted to bring junk for like many, many, many years. All of these items was just in a bag or whatever. So here they leave from one person and they would, and now like they're in my hand as if I, I am uh, touching like many lives, you know. This one story, this girl or woman brought in three little mementos and there was nothing really special about them to look at, but she said that her husband, I believe, and brother had passed away and they were cremated and they don't have a mark or anything. And so she put these insignificant pieces in the wall. So she says, now when I walk by, there they are, you know, and now they are somewhere. I guess my personal story is, in trying to decide what I was going to put into the wall, um, I decided that it was time, you know, to put my late husband's watch uh, in the wall. And he uh, passed away when we were both 25 years old. He was uh, killed in an automobile accident. So the morning that we were kicking off this project, I went digging for it. And when I pulled it out of the drawer, it was still ticking. So I put it in my purse and brought it up, and we all looked at it, and Mr. I looked at it, and we were just amazed. And he placed it in a very special place. And then the next day when we came up, it had stopped. But that was very meaningful to me. And it's much better on the outside wall of our gallery than down in the drawer where I had it. So I think there was a, I think there was a letting go on my part and I, I see a lot of those things happening with the people who are here. We've seen some tears and we've seen some uh, children learning things about their parents that they didn't know. You would think that these are items that, that everybody wants to hold on to, you know? So I look at all of the things on the wall. So it's hard to explain. 
It's a, it's, it's a very powerful thing, so I can't really, can't really explain that. I think Sanford would really appreciate this after it's done. It's, I mean, just look at all the, the people that have brought stuff here to put on the wall with their names and pictures of their loved ones and their dog tags from their, you know, their former pets or whatever. And uh, I, think, I think it'll bring people down here to, to see and bring their families down and say, look, I put this up there in memory of or whatever, you know. Yeah, I feel that people that would uh, come to see this, say, wow, there's a re restaurant, there's an antique shop. So it's going to be some, something that is going to be very good for the city. I mean, it's almost indescribable, the value of having him here. Um, this is something that will have a, a historical impact on our city for potentially a hundred years and we're so excited and particularly me as the mayor I'm very excited that I'm the mayor at this time and I get to, I got to put the first memorial item on the wall and as Mr. Imagination said I'm the first mayor in the world to do that for any of his projects so we're just very very excited and thrilled and since I'm a native of Sanford and you are in right. uh, the county government in right. Sanford we just want to say this is the greatest thing that's happened to downtown Sanford. My hope is that as well as appreciating Mr. I's talents, that people will be able to look at this wall and get a little bit of a sense of the history of Sanford. And they're gonna say, well, where did this POW bracelet come from? And who was Captain Hutton? And um, it's, it's just a special place. Well, what I'm seeing already is um, our door has been opened and closed nonstop ever since he came into town. We've just had a steady stream of people because this is this is a big thing for Sanford to have an international artist come into town and, and this is our first real outdoor sculpture. What I see is them coming back again and again and pointing out the piece that they put in the sculpture and point it out to their friends and their neighbors and, and um, learn about um, the people who brought other pieces and um, just embrace um, the arts. You know, I mean, like everybody go to a Taj Mahal, not saying this is a Taj Mahal, but this would be something that you have to see. It'd be nice to see it in a book, but it's nice to be right there. <laughs>